government is engaged in a war in the north mainly now, formerly the north and the east. Their main objective is to recover administrative and military control over those areas in the north and east where previously the LTT had gained control and in parts of which even now they are in control. That is the main objective of the Rajapaksha government. They speak of defeating terrorism by doing that, which is not at all a correct statement of their true objective. Their true objective is to, as they have put it sometimes, establish their sovereignty over the whole of Sri Lanka. And the one thing that the JDP has not accepted and which Mahindraja Paksha now admits he has not accepted is that the LTT had actually gained control over large parts of the North and East at the time of the ceasefire. And they actually were really opposed to the ceasefire entered into between the UNP government and the LTT in 2002 because they felt that that amounted to an acknowledgement that the LTT was in control of those parts of the country. In fact, the JVP has said never to refer to any part of the country as being under LTT control, which is in fact something that is contrary to the reality. Now they are presenting this as fighting terrorism, which is completely incorrect. They are using the term terrorist now in the way that President Bush uses it and President Musharraf has used it. So this is just a word they are using now to confuse people's minds as to what really they are fighting against. Now the LTT, as my union has said in a statement which is going to be published next Sunday, has in fact gained control in parts of the North and East by military means, not by terrorism. We have gained control by guerrilla warfare and subsequently even by conventional land warfare to seize territory. Seizing Elephant Pass was not terrorism. Seizing Muritevu and destroying thousand army people there was not terrorism. That was a complete, highly successful military victory that they achieved. Similarly, gaining control of Kilunochi. At one time, Kilunochi was in the hands of the army. The LTT regained control of it. So that today, they still control Mulatiivu, Kilunochi, and the important base at Elephant Pass. As long as they remain in control of those three major bases, the government cannot say that they exercise control in the northern province. So that is their main military objective. Whether they can achieve it or not remains to be seen. At the moment, they have not even been able to gain control in Marna of the objective that they had. But the point that we make is this. If, by the use of the Air Force, we are using Israeli jets that are used by the Israelis to bomb the people of Palestine, all the Mahindaraja Paksa belong to the Palestine or supported the Palestine Liberation Movement, his government is now using the very same types of bomber planes that the Israelis use in Palestine to bomb the Palestinian people. Now they are using it to bomb the areas in which the LTT is said to be in control. Similarly, they are using rocket launchers, tanks, and other heavy artillery. Ultimately, whether they can, as a result, destroy the LTT bunkers and prevent them from maintaining military 
lines of defense is something that has to be seen. But my point is this, and that's our union's position. Even if they succeed in defeating the LTT military, that would be a military defeat, and preventing them from holding territory, that doesn't get rid of the LTT. They can still resort to the guerrilla warfare, which is the means by which they originally gained control in those areas. They can break up into groups and carry out attacks on military installations and units of the army. Even today's papers say that in, in the south, Bhutala, some army people have been killed by an LTT group. They attacked Andhra That's an army, an air force base. It's a small group of LTT cadres who can be described as a guerrilla group. Now, apart from that, the LTT has increased what I would even say are terrorist attacks on the civilian population in the south. That is by Claymore mines and suicide bombers. That can increase, it will not decrease, even if they defeat the LTT militarily. Because the LTT can disperse its forces from the north where they are now holding territory to other parts of the country. So they are certainly not going to bring about the, the destruction of the LTT as far as terrorism is concerned. But on top of that, they are talking about political settlement. They can never achieve a proper political settlement till and until they recognize the right of self-determination, which is a democratic right of the Tamil people and the Muslim people in the North and East, and establish some kind of proper constitutional basis for them to exercise that right within the framework of a democratic constitution. But they cannot have a democratic constitution in the first place when in the rest of the country is under a presidential executive presidency, which is amounts today to a virtual military police dictatorship under the emergency.